Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Honey Badger's channel with a mission to produce silver and other precious metal assets. Joining us is the Chief Executive Officer, Chad Williams. Welcome, sir. Hey, Kyle. Thank you. I love your energy. My pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you as well. So let's get right into this. I wouldn't mind if you could tell us a bit about your history within the company here. I saw you were a top rank executive or an analyst for TD Bank and the chairman of Red Cloud Mining. What kind of history can you tell us about um, that you've been involved with here? Okay, sure. Uh, how far do you want to go back? Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's, let's, I've been in mining. I mean, the simple history is I've been in mining finance. I've been in mining ever since I was a kid. Uh, it's my calling or my passion ever since I, I can remember. But, um, and, uh, you know, being Canadian, you, you know, the Northern Miner magazine, I remember being 14 or 15 and, and asking for that uh, subscription um, from my parents for Christmas. But uh, that's, uh, that's a long time ago. Um, but also, uh, during that time, I bought silver for the first time when the Hunt brothers were trying to corner silver. I remember I had a newspaper route and uh, silver was $30 an ounce back then. And I bought 10 ounces and it promptly went to $3 about a month later. And, uh, you know, as they say, education costs money. Uh, but I've been fascinated by silver uh, ever since. And uh, I am a mining engineer with an MBA. Uh, I studied at McGill University in, in, in Montreal. Uh, I've worked in mining capital markets my entire career. I was a, a top-ranked mining analyst, precious metals analyst, uh, at a bunch of brokerage firms, including TD Bank and, and a few firms that have since been acquired by others. But um, uh, about 10 years ago, I started, I had a novel uh, idea. I'm, I'm quite innovative, if I do say so myself. In fact, I, I think most people would say I have that reputation of being innovative, but I started a broker dealer with a novel idea. Um, uh, it's called Red Cloud Mining Capital, highly successful. We have, I don't know, 60, 70 employees right now. And we're one of Canada's top uh, funders, if you will, or providers of capital to mining companies. Very uh, intriguing stuff, man. This really flows through your uh, your blood. If you don't mind, uh, I noticed that you guys have been adjusting your board a little bit. Can you speak about uh, your recently appointed president, uh, Mr. Edmund Theros, and any of the other team that you think uh, you could offer some anecdotes about that bring some experience to uh, Honey Badger? Sure, Kyle. So the the, uh, the the real quick history of 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 our involvement in Honey Badger is I bought some shares about two three years ago, but. About three years ago, nobody cared about silver. And even today, I think the market is just waking up. Um, you know, we, we can talk about our views on, on silver in, in a moment, but the, the bottom line is that um, uh, we took over control about a year ago, took over control of the board and the management. And I've been slowly, or we've been slowly modifying the board and the management. So we added a new board member very recently, a fellow by the name of John Hill, uh, who uh, is a former uh, mining fund manager, mining analyst. Uh, he was chairman of a nonprofit organization called the Denver Gold Group, uh, which hosts the world's number one gold or precious metal mining conference in Denver each year. Uh, and John is mining engineer. He's extremely well admired and liked uh, uh, in the industry. Uh, Ed Thoreau's, Ed and I have worked together for a long time. I think it's 12 years or so in various iterations. Ed is a very good geologist and his skill set is very important in our mission of building a quality silver company. Uh, and it's important that your listeners uh, and our investors, uh, either current or potential new ones, understand that we are not an exploration company. We are not a mining company. We are a, a silver asset aggregator and with that, we want to own three different types of silver assets. One is the streams and royalties. Um, it's a little known fact, but I actually invented the streaming concept about a uh, concept. Um, I was going to say about 15 years ago, maybe a little bit uh, uh, older than that. Uh, um, but streams and royalties are a derivative on under underlying uh, producing assets. They're they're great, um, very good returns. Uh, that's category one. Category two is ounces in the ground. Uh, our ultimate goal is to have a billion ounces of silver in the ground. Uh, and then a third type of asset is high grade, earlier stage uh, assets that we can add value to for not a lot of money. And we already have those assets in hand, the third kind. Um, 
We are looking at the other two kinds very actively. You won't find another junior company that's as active or as aggressive as uh, as we are. We're very, very busy looking at hundreds of, at hundreds of different uh, silver assets uh, in North and South America. These are some pretty incredible insights, Chad. You kind of hit a lot on my later questions here. So what I would like to do is come back at a later date and deeper dive down into Honey Badger's um, assets here, and then we can further expand on the commodity price as well. But I really appreciate this introduction today, Chad. My pleasure. In light of this, folks, if you ever have any questions, let us know what you think in the comments section below, and we can bring it up to chat at a later date. But in light of this, stay cool, stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next one.